Hey everyone, welcome back. I am starting off this video with my own hair and nothing on it, so that means I am showing you guys a topper. So the topper I am showing you is by Envy, um, and true to its name, it is called Long Topper. Uh, so they have actually short topper, layered topper. Um, they're very, um, you know, to the point with their topper name. So this is Long Topper. Um, it is about 15 inches and the base on this is a six by six. Now you will notice this does have a lace front to it. So lace front toppers are not as common um, as just a standard front topper. And I will say in my experience, lace front toppers are harder for me to wear. Um, so just be aware that if you do have, um, so a lot of my hair loss is here in the front and on the side. So it's kind of sparse up here in the front. So that's where um, a topper comes in handy. And then I just have very thin hair. So I need toppers to add bulk and volume and then cover up kind of the sparseness in the front. But I do have my own hair. So uh, it's harder for me to blend these lace front toppers because if the lace moves at all and it comes up over my hair here in the front, then you can see my hair underneath the lace, which defeats the entire purpose of a lace front. So if you um, have your hair loss more up here and you don't have a lot of hair, and but you do have more in the back, sometimes you don't want to wear a full wig. Uh, you want the versatility and the comfort of a topper, but you don't have a lot to blend it with, then a lace is going to be the perfect option for you because you don't have to worry about blending. You can just put that lace on there and then you can wear it off of your face um, and it's a great option. So I'm not gonna do this justice because you will be able to probably see my hair through this, um, through the lace. So just bear with me and pretend like you can't see it. Uh, but this does have four pressure sensitive clips. This is a synthetic piece. Oh, and the color is uh, sh sparkling champagne, which is a beautiful rooted blonde. So you have this uh, medium brown here at the root, and then there are different color blondes in here. You can see uh, a lighter brown that has the uh, platinum blonde in it, um, lots of beautiful colors, and then underneath this root gives it some great dimension. Now with toppers, if it's rooted like this, as you can see, the root is pretty similar to my hair here. So like underneath, you see that darker piece is there. So I probably wouldn't go this light of a blonde, but if you had um, a different color, maybe a warmer, darker blonde, and then it was rooted with this piece, you could wear it if your bio hair is as dark as mine because it just looks like you have these beautiful highlights on top of your base color. So if anything shows underneath, as long as it matches the root, it's going to look okay. So don't feel like you have to get the exact same color as your own hair. Um, it's a lot easier to do than you think as long as it is a rooted piece. So um, that's a good tip for, for wearing toppers. All right, so putting this on, I'm going to use the camera as my mirror. So because it's a lace front, I'm going to pull my hair back like this. Now, if this was a normal standard front topper, I would part my hair and bring some hair forward and put the topper just a little behind my own hairline and then blend the hairs back up into it. But because this is lace, I'm going to pull it all back. So let's see here. Now, when I got this out of the box, the lace was kind of folded back a little bit, just the way it was packaged in the box, so I'm going to try to get it to lay flat. And remember not to pull and stretch on your lace because then it will fray and not lay as it should. Okay, so I'm going to put it here. And another tip when wearing a topper is the first time you wear it, don't try to match it up with your own part. Put it uh, straight on your head and then move the part around. If you um, try to match any kind of parts up with your part, then you might put it on lopsided. The lace comes from here to about here. So that's how far the lace goes. And then of course you have some, um, you can see the knots in this because it is a dark root. So just be aware that even if you don't have hair um, in the front that you still might be able to see the lace because that is sitting on my scalp. Um, the length is good. It's not too long, not too short. Um, it's a great length. The fibers feel good. The density is good. Um, it's just enough to add some bulk to my hair without it being 
overly thick. As you can see, this is definitely, this is my hair and this is the blonde. So this is definitely too light of a color um, for my base color, but again, um, it does match the roots, so it's not too, too bad. Um, and then it's pretty secure on my head. So the trick with toppers too is ladies who need coverage, like on the very top where I do, they tend to go for a small cap thinking they just need that part covered. But the tricky thing is, um, is they put, that's where the clips are. So you try to clip in a really small base, like a four by five or a four by four, and there's nothing for it to hold on to, so it slips around. So even if you just need coverage here, like at the top of your crown, still go for a little bit bigger base. That way the clips will have something to clip into. Now, if you have plenty of hair up there and you're just looking for some volume um, or thickness, you could definitely get away with a smaller base because you would have something to clip it into. So even if you need the coverage, just at the top, go with the bigger base. All right, let me give you a 360 so you can see it from all sides. I do have this behind my ear, which is a great, um, great feature for a topper. All right, so here is the right, the back, the left, and then on around. And then of course with the topper, you can definitely do a ponytail, as you can see. Um, you can clip back the sides. Lots of great options with the topper, ear tucks, all the things. Toppers are so great, so versatile. Um, if you've never tried one, when I started wearing hair, I went straight to a wig, and then I realized a topper would be a great option, and I'm so glad I tried because it is a lifesaver. You just clip it on and go. Um, once you figure out how to blend it, it's just kind of second nature to, to pop it on and and um, wear your topper throughout the day. All right, there she is. This is a long topper by Envy. If you need her, head on over to wigs by pattyspearls.com. Uh, Envy's the manufacturer. Long topper is the style, and the color I'm showing you is sparkling champagne. All right, I will see you guys next time.